for each one of us as we celebrate the feast of Saint Dominic Savio. He was the student of Saint John Bosco. Yes.
They are part of uh, that, the principal of St. Dominic's Sunday School. Father Royal, the principal and master of the Anglican School, and Father Father Rajan, our administrator of all the three schools, the vice principal, the teachers, the non teaching staff, and my dear students. My very good morning to everyone today. We are all delighted to celebrate the feast of your patron saint, our patron saint, that is Mr. Dominic Savio. He's a boy saint, boy saint. Very often, those, are, those of you who are Christians and Catholics would understand that to become a saint, one has to be overly done. Okay, one has to have lived enough and more. Therefore, only the senior people or the grown-ups could be a saints or can be made saints. But then Dominic Savio disproves that kind of theory. Anyone can become a saint, right? There are so many little uh, children, kind of mature children, who know what is right and wrong. Now, all the saints. And again, Dominic Savio is an example. Now, it is also interesting to know that Don Bosco was a priest, very saintly man, and he always worked for young people and children. And today, he is called Saint John Bosco. Or simply, lovingly, we call him Don Bosco. And the name John has many shades of meaning. Since he is from the Italian background, John means nothing else but Father. He said, Father God, Father so and so. Therefore, John Bosco. That's a popular way of saying. Otherwise, a Christian um, circle or the church, saints are called the way of proper name. That is like Saint John Bosco, Saint John the Savior. Anyway, that's for us just to know. One day he was brought to Don Bosco's youth center, they used to call oratory. And he joined the evening oratory, also Sunday youth uh, center for activities. And boys used to come in the evenings and play various games, etc. One day, while the boys were playing, Don next Savio was not found. So they were all searching. Where was he? Where was he? Anyone knows? Yes? He says he was studying. Yes? Louder. He was praying to God. Okay, he was praying to God. So he was in the chapel. This is all very traditional, right? Information. Therefore, you all of you will be, all of, you, all of us know about it. Therefore, he was in the chapel like a good boy, and he was a good boy. He was praying to God. And very pious kind of gesture, and he was praying to the uh, the Holy Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Anyway, he was at the chapel. Now, what would be the normal, let us say, reaction to see a boy like this who is in the chapel and praying? What would be the normal reaction from teachers or from parents? to see a young boy like this pray in the chapel. What would be the normal reaction? What would you say? Suppose if somebody sees you pray in the chapel or in a temple, what would be the reaction of other people? What do you expect them to say to you? Let us say. What would you expect? Be young. Yeah. Yes, he says, they should be proud of me because I am the chapel, church, in the temple, praying to God. Instead, Don Bosco said, just ask him to come out of the chapel. And then said, what you are doing is right, but it is not so very right at this time when all your fellow students or young people are playing. Therefore, what you are expected to do is just do what your friends are doing. Because they are supposed to play now. 
not study or not to pray. So that's a good point. So when you are supposed to study, you are supposed to be at school. You may not be praying. That is not expected of you. Okay, also the other way, vice versa. So this is how people grow. And finally, one more point with that I finished. Which also you know already. And one day, Don, uh, Don Mix have been asked to send John Bosco. John Bosco, I want to be a good boy. Therefore, I want to be a saint. Tell me the shortcut of... And Don Mix, uh, Don Bosco said, well, there is no kind of shortcut or long term. But I can give you one secret that can be so many ways. And he said, when you do anything, any good thing, or any activity that you are supposed to do, do it the ordinary thing in an extraordinary way. Okay? That is one way of being a good boy, a good student, or one way of achieving saintliness. Therefore, we are school children of St. Dominic Sadhya. Let us learn uh, this beautiful message from St. Dominic Sadhya. That is, whatever we need to do, whatever you are expected to do, the ordinary things, we must do it in an extraordinary way. Okay? In an excellent way, in a beautiful way. So this is the lesson that John Bosco conveyed to Dominic Sadhya and he kept it up, he practiced it. Probably this is one of the ways which helped Dominic Sadhya to become a saint. Therefore, what is the message that I am trying to tell you? Who can tell me the last point? Do you remember what I am trying to tell you? Okay, wonderful. I am repeating the last one. We are asked to do the ordinary things, of obviously good things, in an extraordinary way, in a beautiful way, in an excellent way. Okay, this is one of the secrets of being successful in life, also to grow in holy. Thank you, happy peace to everyone. Happy peace. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we celebrate the peace of Dominic Savio. It is our day. So nice to see all of you. So well disciplined and very, very bright. In the history, Indian history, what happened in 1942? Somebody said it. British? Okay, anything? 1942? What is it? India, Pakistan, or World War, yes, Indian history. 1942. Independence Day. Okay, since you did, when did the Quit India Movement happen? 1940? Not 42? Is it teachers? Not 42? 47 is Independence Day. Uh, freedom, no? 42. Okay, so Quit India movement happened in 1942. Something happened in 1942. Who said birth of Dominic Savio? Yeah. It was the birth of Dominic Savio in 1942 on April 2nd. April 2nd, 1942. It is something he initiated. Just like Quit India movement, Quit Sin movement. This photo is death rather than sin. All along in his life, he was ready to do anything but commit sin. Sin means irritated, the mistakes that we commit in our day to day lives, the little lies that they say, or uh, little cheating that we do, 
Okay, so he was very very particular not to commit sin at all. Even the Apostle's teaching was that run, jump, play, but do not commit sin. So the same thing Prophet Savio also had in his lifetime. He did rather than sin was mortal. So he wanted to quit sin all the time in his lifetime. And that really gave him the chance to make a little difference in his own life and in the life of others. So making a difference in one's own life and in the life of others is very, very important. Dominic Sabe School is making this little difference in your life and in the life of many. The building is not mighty, the facilities are not that great as other schools. But given a chance, how many of you would like to go to another school, a uh, very big school, if chance is given to you? Living Dominic Sir. Living Dominic Sir. Nobody will go. Which means it is not the mind, it is not the place that matters. But the love that prevails in this place is more important than anything else. It makes difference in the life in your life. Even the way you sit, the way you behave, the way, the orderly way you listen to, all this make a difference in your life and the life of each other. Everything that is being done in the school makes a difference in your life which you cherish, which will remain with you forever in your lifetime. So, Dominic Savio brought about difference with three letters. L A C Love, Kindness and Compassion. L A C. Do you remember these three letters? Dominic Savio can be associated with three letters. Love, kindness, compassion. This is what Dominic Savio did in his lifetime. All the time he loved everyone. All the time he showed kindness. All the time he showed compassion. And this is what every student of Dominic Savio must do in your life in the school as well as at home and outside. You must bring about a change, a difference by showing more love, by being more kind and by being more compassionate to the people who we meet. So wish you all the best. Happy Feast of Dominic Savio.
Your thoughts are related on my and have shown us a new part. Thank you, Father. I would like to thank Reverend Father DJ Sahai Raj, our rector and correspondent, for his presence. I thank our principal, Reverend Father Arunke Das, for always supporting and guiding us. I would also like to extend my gratitude to Reverend Father Raja Kusum, our vice rector and administrator. With a deep sense of appreciation, I thank our loving teachers for their untimely efforts. I would like the non-teaching staff who work behind the stage to make this event happen. Dream work makes the dream work. Finally, I would like to thank my fellow students. Your cooperation and efforts made this day possible. Thank you once again.